I told myself I'm like I'm gonna get up and make this video for, for, for the squad man because they need a video they like to see the, the, the box build they like the car audio videos I need to get up and I need to make the squad happy man the mousetrap gang needs to be able to see videos every single day and we got up and guess what we did it and just like I said Mouse Dragon, welcome back to a whole nother video. It's your boy Mouse, man. It's a nice sunny day. Guys, thank you guys for uh, the comments and, you know, the DMs, you know, asking how I felt. You know, that's what's up. I appreciate that from you guys. Uh, shows that you guys are just more than just supporters. But, we're actually going to get back to the build today. We're just going to assemble the box today. Um, man, I figure, why sit around and dream about trying to make it when we actually have to put in the work, man. So... Uh, enough sitting around we already uh you know went through the bad part i'm actually feeling like 90 percent today and hopefully today we're building this and this uh it being so hot out i can sweat the rest of what i got out and you know just get back in the rhythm of uh, uh building this box man because i already want to hear it and let's actually get into the shout outs real quick if you would like your video if you would like to be shouted out um once we drop a video man all you gotta do is just drop a comment any comment you know and i will go ahead and give you a shout out if you guys have an instagram or a youtube channel drop it in the comment and i could pick you to give you guys a shout out and the first shout out actually goes to uh, mario nunez he says hope you feel better bro being sick and having asthma is no joke hashtag mousetrap gang man you know i appreciate that big time bro yes being sick and having asthma, it kind of does suck really bad. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, I feel it. Uh, so big shout out to you big dog, you already know what's up. Big member of the Mousetrap gang, I salute you. Next shout out goes to Robert Smith. He commented, get well soon bro, new to the channel. Have you dropped a video on how you got started on car audio? Love, the, love those stories. And uh, big shout out to you, man. I appreciate you. Even though you're a new subscriber, man, I salute you too uh, for checking up on me. Let me uh, you find out how I feel. Um, and real quick to answer your question, and I think I already commented you back. I uh, mean, I got into car audio like 1989, 1990, just looking at, you know, um, my uncle used to have a, man, what year was it? Like a 1985, uh, 1989 Corvette Stingray, man. The two door, the old school ones, the one that's like, if you guys ever watched Rush Hour, the one that uh, um, Chris Tucker be riding in, it was bowling ball purple, and he had a wall with some thumpers, and then like six by nines going across it, a real nice wall, and man, that was the first truck that, a car that I actually fell in love with car audio, and ever since that, man, it's been on. Next one, we'll go ahead and do, again, to our homeboy, Raul Garza, hope you feel better, hopefully you don't have anything else like the c word i'm not gonna say it because my youtube don't like it when you say the c word uh we just got over it again a few weeks ago uh, man you know i to this day i can say i haven't caught it you know what I'm saying i never tested you know positive for it uh but i did get sick you know here and there while it was that season and man it's horrible i had plenty of uh, friends, family members that passed away from it, that got messed up with it. I had some family members that got it, and man, it was a real horrible experience all the way around. So, um, shout outs and prayers to everybody that lost somebody along the way with this horrible situation. I'm not even gonna get into it because it's too much political stuff, but a big shout out to you, Raul Garza. Major, major, big supporter, guys. All right, so now let me go ahead and get set up because pretty much all we gotta take out today is just the compressor, the compressor, um, our saw horses and staple guns, glue, and just the chop saw. Um, because we're just going to assemble the box today because I just don't really want my uh, pieces to the box just like laying around. So we're just going to assemble it and just um, put it in the back of the truck so it's not everywhere. All right, real quick briefing. If you guys are new to this channel, your first time watching one of my videos, man, I'm, 
your boy Mousetrap, man, I built car audio, man, I've been doing this stuff for the longest. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even professional, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. But, you know, I'm just your average type of dude that likes to build, you know, stuff like car audio. Man, we try to make them loud. We do make them loud. And, man, we just try to, you know, give uh, people some tips, advice, and show you that you can still build some badass stuff at your house with, you know, your normal tools, table saw, jigsaw, drill, um, you know, simple stuff, man. You don't need to use all the high-tech stuff. Using the high-tech stuff does give you a little bit more, you know, better, easier way of doing it, but not everybody has access to all the big high-tech high stuff. So I just pretty much try to show you guys that we can still do it using normal at-home tools, man. And this is my fourth order that I'm building for my Chevy Silverado. We're gonna do a blow through, we're gonna cut out the bed. And this is the skeleton of it. We have all the pieces laying right here and we're gonna assemble it today. If you like car audio, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by hitting subscribe, then turn the notification bell on or all your speakers are gonna blow out. Simple as that. Okay, so before we get started putting the box together, I just pretty much gotta, you know, make some uh, quick lines just so I know where stuff's gonna go and where it's gonna get stapled at. And I'm gonna start off by doing the braces on the side of the baffles um, because I'm pretty gonna pretty much gonna work from the outside in. I'm gonna assemble all the outside pieces, then braces are gonna go into play, and then the baffle can go on. Uh, and then the front piece where the port's gonna go on. Okay, so pretty much this brace that's right here, it's just so this baffle doesn't have no play, no flexibility. And like I always say, man, you know, go ahead and always brace up as much as possible because the more braces the better so we're just going to go ahead and mark it that looks pretty good pretty much know where this side brace is going to go so i'm just going to go ahead and do a straight line on it and i'm just going to go ahead and measure her out so pretty much three and three quarters and i'm going to come on the other side measure out the same which is three and three quarters. Draw my line and that gives me the measurement that I need. So the braces are symmetrical on the box. Now is I am gonna go ahead and get my back brace. And we're just gonna pretty much set it into place. And then we're going to measure her out and just pretty much make sure that it's, you know, in the middle before we mark our lines and we know where it's going to be sitting in place. I found the, the half of it, which is 22 and a half, so we're going to go ahead and mark this guy right here. And that's that. We still have to adjust the baffle to its size. Uh, the baffle where it's going to really line up and then after that we can uh, start stapling but like I said I wanted to work from the outer pieces then braces go into play and then the baffle goes into play then the front piece which holds the port right there goes in every single video I try to shoot for a goal on likes and views let's go ahead and try to get you know let's not think big right off the bat let's do something that's a little bit more doable man let's try to at least get 50 likes because when you hit the like that determines how many how much uh, YouTube pushes the video out and if we get a good enough likes and comments man YouTube pushes the video out and the views just naturally you know go up because they get pushed out to a whole newer audience so let's try to do 50 likes drop some comments and then we'll let YouTube do its thing um, putting the video out so we can get them views keep a little towel around uh, so whenever the glue oozes out man we can just pick it up because we want the box to still look nice without no glue even though at the end of the day it's gonna get covered with either carpet a uh, line X etc etc but we still you know need to feel good inside that you know it's nice okay you see how I said that it oozes out man it ain't nothing just to come back with a towel and just clean it up. Hi guys. 
my daughter here. She's the biggest fan. Once again, let's go ahead and pick up. Ugh. It's just like caulking, I guess. Okay, so I feel that went way too smoothly. There's something up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the back piece in. The back piece is actually going to go between the sides because I feel if I would have put the back piece to sit on top of the sides it gives a little bit more play for it to blow apart and but when I feel when it sits between the the sides it actually holds a little bit more in place because you got to think about which areas are going to take the most beatings and obviously the front back top and bottom always take the most beating on boxes like this Okay, so we pretty much got the sides and the back put on. Now what we need to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and put the braces that we need. And then from that we can put the baffle. But it's looking good so the top, far. Uh, the same measurement as the bottom. So they can line up pretty good. And I think we're ready to staple these uh, front braces on. You go ahead and put the braces on. And make sure you get fill the bottom up good with glue as well with the, the, the back of it that's going to sit up against the box because very very important you don't want that thing to like rattle apart once that thing is jamming you want that thing solid and so we're going to actually go ahead and uh, staple it and then we're going to staple it from the bottom so it's really secure in there the side braces in and now we just got to work on the back one and we pretty much already have it lined up with the markings that we did earlier and now it's just a matter of stapling on there but as you can see you see how it doesn't go up to the top and remember I did that because uh, we we're still gonna through bolt it with the plexiglass on there and we still needed to be able to have like a lock washer or a washer and the bolt go in the back with it without having to run any issues that it's hitting on any part of the support beam or any of that stuff we wanted to sit in there for. okay so i just stuck the the baffles of the speakers inside there just because i want to see what it looked like real quick and so far it's lining up pretty good uh, we're about to staple this guy down and then once that gets done we can actually just go ahead and put the baffle in and i get you know hands on with building these boxes i get a little bit better ideas and understanding how the building the box um, goes you see what I'm saying my way of building boxes is probably uh, not the same way as other people build boxes like I said everybody has their own technique that works for them and I have my technique and it has been working with for me throughout all these years uh, now it's just a matter of tweaking up the skills and so far we're building this box 
we learned, a, well I learned a lot, I'm pretty sure you guys learned a lot and have been seeing hands on because a lot of these builds that you guys see on YouTube, uh, it's just pretty much uh, B-roll, what you call just them at a time lapse, just building the box and doesn't go into detail with building it, why we do this and why we do that. And with doing that, explaining it and me going back and reviewing the, the video, I can see where I could, you know, tighten up the skills a little bit so I can build that much better of a box and that much louder of a box. And I am going to do the system in my Trailblazer over again, but when we do that one, we're going to go with a little bit different system of building that box because that box we want to go ahead and make sure that it's built so it is like ridiculous loud. I'm not saying that this guy is not going to be loud because this guy's going to be definitely loud, but we're going to really upgrade it a little bit more on building that one so it goes a little bit more easily and doing less work because you always got to try to find the best way how to work without doing the most hard work you see what i'm saying so i learned how to do a few things on this one that we can change and do on the other builds uh so everything goes smoothly having to work that hard and just making sure that that box is like a thousand percent this box is definitely a thousand percent, but like I said, you know, I learned along the way and then we know what to do for the future builds. So you gotta make sure that the glue is really up against that edge. that our braces are in we can go ahead and staple down our baffle everything lined up pretty good everything's looking pretty good on this side looking fabulous looking fabulous man from what it started on a piece of paper to what it is now man your boy is truly happy we're gonna have one good sounding truck guys and man thanks to y'all uh, we sat here we were all patients on both patient on both sides and we're gonna build a serious monster. This is probably one of the most important parts of the box. We are gonna load this guy up with some glue, something serious. Because we do not need this thing at all. Trying to rattle and shake apart. And you see like man, you gotta get that thing in the edges. Even if we have to go back and buy some more glue to finish the box, man, so be it. We need this thing sucker free, you feel me? Right here, get some edges in. Get them. I'm actually going to flip the box, draw out some lines so I can staple the bottom of the baffles and then so we can come back and just staple the rest of them on the back of the, the braces. I drew out my lines where the box needs to get stapled on from the bottom side of it. So we're going to go ahead and go to town on it.
at that. Not a single staple passed through, guys. Very awesome. Man, we in there like swimwear. You see, even a box like this would look badass, like a wall. Then you just do the slot port right here, coming into the cab. Man, I think psh, that's how I had a wall in my Tahoe, man. It was almost like the sub is firing up and then the slot port on top. But that would be a badass wall right there as well, too. Like I said, a nice slot port up here, port going inside there. Psh, that thing will be ridiculous. I'm not even going to lie. It's sad that we're already coming to an end with building the box. And man, because I really enjoy, you know, building boxes. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Man, I really love building boxes. Uh, me growing up, man, you know, all I wanted to do was build boxes, work on cars and everything. And so I guess I, I accomplished one of my dreams already. And coming to an end, uh, finishing this box, um, just the box itself, we still got a long way to go. It, it's kind of sad, you know what I'm saying? But I'm kind of happy because this is when the start comes the, the install starts coming to life because now the box is going to be done we can cut through the bed and we can mount the box down and then we can start working on the inside of the bed or the door panels but i think i'm going to go ahead and work on the the inside of the bed because that's going to be the little bit more time consuming part because the door panels i can get them done fast and the door panels i want to get them built uh fiberglass sand and back installed because I don't want to be riding around in a newer truck with the door panels off. I want to get them done as fast as possible and I want to get them put on and then after that we can start you know looking into the electronics parts of the, the build. So it's coming along together real good. All we have to do is put this front part on and for the most part of the box it's gonna we'll say it's 80%. So the glue's already on all the parts of the box right there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the, the port part of the box from top inside box is assembled man and listen I forced myself I told myself I'm like I'm gonna get up and make this video for 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 the squad man because they need a video they like to see the the, the box build they like the car audio videos I need to get up and I need to make the squad happy man the mousetrap gang needs to be able to see videos every single day and we got up and guess what we did it and just like I said how's I say Dreams don't work unless you do, man. And that's what we did. Man, We, I still feel ill. The back of my ear is killing me. And we got up, man. We built this box. It's good. I got the sunlight. Uh, I'm, I still feel a little bit ill, but, man, we got it done. I mean, I'm happy with it. Uh, we still need to work out some minor details, but like I said, man, that's just all in the woodworking. Uh, to perfect a lot of stuff, man, it takes time. And we got a lot of stuff done. Uh, mainly got the box built. I didn't want the pieces just scattered everywhere. So I went ahead and built the box. Man, it's looking fabulous, guys. Fabulous. You guys, you know, be the judges of it. Yeah. It's in there, and it's like solid, guys. This thing's solid. And honestly, like, we gain. This thing's heavy. This thing is definitely heavy, guys. I don't even know what I'm going to do to even put this box inside there by myself. Usually when boxes are really this heavy, man, I just build them in two pieces, so it's a lot easier for me to put in by myself. Okay, thumbnail is done and now pretty much man you see the truck in the background and the box man this thing is solid like these braces are doing its job and man here let me see oh man this thing is like heavy oh my god yeah we're gonna really bust our back doing this thing so like i said we still gotta finish like um routering it out and little stuff here and there but pretty much it's done and I still gotta like paint it. I still gotta do some stuff to it. I gotta put like the hooks where we're gonna track the speaker wire to make it look nice so it just doesn't look like speaker wire just thrown inside there. But overall, man, it, the box is 80% done. Uh, we still gotta cut the front part of it out, do the lid, cut the, the top of it out, 
and do the brace for the port. Although the port, man, that thing is solid in there. That thing is not going to go nowhere. But our hole for our plexiglass cutout, it's done, man, it looks really good. Once the subs go under, it's gonna look fabulous. Textured, painted, lights, man, what else do you want? Looking really good for the Z71. That pretty much concludes today's video. Man, I got out of bed, got this video done for you guys, got the box done for the truck. Uh, and man, I hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely like, like I said, man, let's get this video to 50 likes and drop them comments, man. Hashtag Mousetrap Gang. Let them know we're here. And like I said, tag which uh, car audio YouTuber, you know, uh, should let me do a little collab with them. And man, we'll, we'll get this thing going. Uh, maybe on a build, you know, just hanging out, whatever, man. So, you know, I'd really like to step it up a notch on this YouTube stuff, man. So, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, tag any car audio guy you think that youtuber that should let us collab with them and we'll catch you guys tomorrow so uh we'll see what we can do uh, but for now man i'm out man i'm gonna go get some rest peace